Cal's from Cal's Crafts. Welcome back if you've been before and hi if this is your first time this is my whip and chat of the week work in progress and yes I am still on Let the Good Times Roll by Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club but we've only got this bit now to do so we'll rip all the bits off. <clears throat> I've got my Quiet River candle and I think it's Starry yeah, Starry Night. No idea what's in it, but it smells divine. So we'll put that up there where we don't get things. I have got <laughs> my cows all crafts. I can't show you the... I can't really show it you because it is full of coffee. I've just done two lots of Nespresso in there. <laughs> oh, yes. So, how's everybody's week been? What's it been like? Have you been busy, busy bees? Has it been a quiet week? Has it been a wet week, dry week? It's been sunny but cold this year, so... Yeah, a bit of everything this week, I have to admit. Grant went back to work on Tuesday. He is negative now, but he is just so, so exhausted. He's slept nearly all day today. He changed the brake pads on his car this morning. And then had some lunch about half one by two o'clock. He was asleep. I woke him up at half past six for something to eat. He didn't eat much. And he's gone back on the sofa with the dog. So, yeah, I said that's what COVID does to you. So it's really wiped him out, bless him. So did you all have a nice Easter break? It was very, very quiet here. We didn't do much, I must admit. None of us really felt like doing much, so we didn't. As soon as we had a poorly boy. So we just uh, stayed at home. girls liked their eggs which was good grant liked the fact he had some frere washi so he was happy even though we couldn't eat them on the day because he didn't feel very well but they have since disappeared <laughs> you can tell he's feeling a bit better bits of fluff everywhere um what else is happening yeah we're all negative so none of us have caught it which is surprising but yeah, no, we're all clear. Get off. Stick into there, look. And just flatten that out a bit. Squash it down. Yeah, I thought we might come down, especially me, because like we didn't sort of separate from each other much and because we didn't know we had it, so we thought it was a bit late by the time we had it. Although we did keep Fairly separated, as they say, as best you can. But yeah. Um, Millie's done a few shifts in her job. She's loving it at the moment. She's waitressing on our local pub called Bethlehemak. Um, She did a shift today. She did Thursday evening, Tuesday day. She did two hours today and I think she's doing three hours maybe tomorrow. But it's Sunday roast day tomorrow, so it'll be a lot busier tomorrow. So hopefully she'd be okay. But she said the people are really, really nice. So I said that helps. So hopefully she'll be okay tomorrow. I think she will. She's got a nice bunch down there working with her. And as I said to you before, Joshua's friend Leon's down there as well, so and he's known Millie. Well, really since Millie was born. That's how long him and Jess Joshua have been friends since nursery, so sort of thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, I've managed to get a few loads of drying on the line wash and dried on the line this week trying to so we don't have to use the tumble dryer so trying to dry as much as I can on the lines even if I can only get it half dry leaf on there 
um, better than nothing in it. That's still some saved for the dryer. The birdies are in full song mood this week in the early hours of the morning as soon as it starts to get light. Yeah, the little buggers about half four. Chirp, chirp, chirpity chirp, bloody chirp. And I'm like, I'll give you bloody chirp, chirp, chirpity chirp. <laughs> but no, it is a nice sound to wake up to. It's better than shouting and screaming that we get some early hours of some mornings. Had a couple of police raids down the bottom of the estate, which is nothing new. We had the two um, X5s down there, armed police. Does make me chuckle. Not in a good sense either. Um, Mum's okay. Dad's okay. He's been planting his potatoes, I think, this week. His sets of potatoes. Sets of potatoes in the potato patch. He loves doing his garden. He ends up having to give most of it away because, like, he can't eat all of it, but he just loves growing it. And it keeps him busy. Do you know what I mean? Keeps him outside in the fresh air and... As I say to him, as long as he doesn't overdo it, you know, knows when to stop and ask for help when he, you know, things are tough. But yeah, so he's fine. Mum's okay. She's holding her own at the moment, so that's good. Jacqueline's oh, I say she's okay. Her potassium levels are but rocketed again. I mean low, not high. I should say they've dropped, not rocketed. Um, extremely low. They wanted a hospitalizer because of it. Um, but of course, as you know, we, we, we put an intervention in. She's not allowed to be hospitalized anymore. So, and her iron's back. She's only been off the iron tablets, I don't think, a week. And they've dropped considerably again, but there's no sign of bleeding anywhere. So nobody knows what's going on there. So they've decided they think the potassium is to do with the amount of antibiotics she's having, she's been taking because she's only off antibiotics a week, two weeks at the most. And then she's back on all antibiotics. So... It's just finding the right combination that she's not just going from one to the one. One drug is causing other problems, if you know what I mean. But she's got to have the antibiotics. If she doesn't have the antibiotics, she won't be here. So it's a hard one. But the, and like potassium, as you know, is it um, helps your nerves, your muscles to work properly. But like she's staying in bed, so. She can't move her one leg, and one leg is permanently sort of over the other leg now. Um, and like it says, it's you know, it doesn't do brain function. Well, her brain function's pretty limited now, anyway. So, we've said the, the antibiotics is more important than the potassium, so they're just going to give out the potassium as and when needed because you only give it to i think it's four or five days they only like to give it four i don't know why um but she's then more bloods on monday and then they'll see where she goes from there but she's she's content in herself the mornings are her best you know you'll get a smile and where's mum and dad and something like that but and I know she's very, very, very well looked after. Extremely well looked after. And they keep me informed all the way, so that's good. They inform me and then I make the decision um, what I tell Dad. Because some things he doesn't need to know. Um, he doesn't need to be worried unless there's a reason to be worried, if you know what I mean. So... 
and he's okay with that he knows if it was um what can i say how can i say it? If, if it was if it was a life and death situation i would inform him but as for what drugs when and what no not unless he asks if he asks i'll tell him but i usually just say they've had to change it and leave it at that and he's content with that he can't cope with too much not with mum as well like so yeah so she's not too bad um let's have another swig of me coffee i love this mug i can't f it's from yv creations on etsy she has got her own website as well but i just love it absolutely love it and every time i can see a color I can see when she put it down, you know, I see in my mind as watch we live her making it, which is nice. Yeah, so um what else has been happening? I don't know, a lot this week. Week's gone bloody quick, I know that. I don't have time to you know what, doesn't seem to be. I'm working till about eleven. One night I work till half twelve. Um, but most nights it's half ten but I don't mind I enjoy it if I didn't enjoy it I don't think I'd do it so I've been doing my finishing off my taxes for years so I can put all the paper in into the old tax man not that I'll have to pay any tax because I'm not earning enough but I'm out of penny for the whole year and don't balance by a penny so I'm going to go back off it. So oh, I hate it when it's just something so minor. And um, so I'm doing that. So I worked out uh, for a year for what well, I get on YouTube, my Patreon and my Etsy shop because I have to declare it all. I made for the whole year £749 profit, which works out at £14.42p a week. So if you think I'm earning a fortune, that's over everything. I would have made a bit more, but like I had to buy my sewing machine for the business. I had to buy another sewing machine because I keep the one for home now that I got donated, which was, I'm so grateful for, but that's my home one because you have to keep them separate. Um, and I've uh, had to buy, you know, bits of, you know, template things and rulers and bits of things. Only little bits. But, yeah. So I'll probably have another £700 profit if it had not other bits I had to buy for the business and stuff. But, you know, you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? You have to start somewhere. But then, bloody Etsy put me on a 90 day what they call it reserve for 90 days because apparently although I went through the right channels with my um, Harry Potter stuff and made sure I got licensed stuff and all that palaver apparently they weren't happy enough about that so although I had I think it was nine or something like that different pieces three of them they flagged and took down and then so I took the rest down because I didn't want to I thought I'd followed all the rules but obviously I didn't so but it's all a learning curve so they put me on 90 day reserve which means but I think they used any excuses because I've heard of loads of people on Etsy that's been put on reserve for, well, the most silliest things in the last week and a half. But mine is for that, which is, but what it means is that they will keep 75% of your sale funds. So anything you sell, they'll keep 75% of it up to 45 days before payment is given to you. Yeah. Unless you can prove tracking and if you can't, then you have to wait 45 days. 
Now to prove tracking, that means you've got to buy your postage labels through them or and charge everybody extra. So I don't know what the hell it's going to mean. Um, I've got to see how much extra it costs me by going through them. So that meant then that I had to buy a printer, um, a label printer. So I've had to go out and get a Mumby printer. So I had to use um, some of my own money because out of that, because like it says like £749.90p right profit, but that all has to go back into the business because you have to buy the materials that you've sold, but you have to keep material in stock and you only get, excuse me, replenished the material when you sell it. So say I sell um, a £7.50 bag, for example, okay? It costs me for the materials and everything £5.66 to make it. So I only get a profit of £1, whatever it is. Yeah? Because I have to include the materials on that. Now £1.44 is not going to buy me anything, is it? If you know what I mean. So I might have half a metre of material left in my box of that. Or I might have made all the products and they're in my Etsy shop. Well, I'm not going to get the material money back until I sell everything. So you're continuously using your profits to buy your materials that you need. That includes, you know, your postage and packaging material. Your everything that you need to make it. You know, everything. So... I've lost me thing. Yeah, so I've had to use my last bit of money that came through to buy a Monday and my own money that I had of my disability to buy this bloody printer thing so that I can now print my own labels using theirs. And so then I've, if I do postage through them, I can prove that I've posted it. So then hopefully they will pay me straight away. Otherwise, I've got to wait 45 days. And so many Etsy people are saying the same. This last week and a half, they've had the same. So we've all said we're just going to see how it works, do it. Because I've never done it. I've never done it for eBay. I've never done it for anything. You know, bought a postage stamp. I've never done it. I've always gone to the post office. I've also got something from eBay to post. I've sold on Grant's chisels he wanted because he got the duplicate he found and that's sold today so I've got to work out how to do that as well so yeah but yeah I'm out of penny out of penny on my taxes penny I don't think they'll mind because like you've got to earn I think it's 10, 10 grand is it or 12 grand before you can pay taxes and you've got to earn 85000 before you pay VAT. Well, yeah, I ain't got that. I didn't even get anywhere near, even if you took off what I've had to spend out, what came in, you wouldn't get anywhere near that anyway. But hey, um, I love doing it, so that's all that matters to me. Well, I think so anyway. So Millie set my printer up today. We did a dummy run from the laptop and that worked all right. So I'm going to have a go at doing the other one. I'll do it tomorrow because I don't feel like doing it tonight. I'll probably cock it up tonight because it is, what is it, eight o'clock and I am tired. Why is a tired girl tonight? So we'll see. And Grant needs to dig it out. We need to packages, package it so it's completely safe. Yeah. And I have to admit, YouTube, I didn't do a Flip Friday yesterday. I My heart's just going out of it now because 
I don't know. I'm just finding it. I think it's because I'm trying to find the time. I'm so tired myself. Um, and I don't know whether people are interested in my YouTube anymore. You know. I like doing it. I like doing my whipping chats. But it's just getting motivated to think, well, is it worth me doing it if nobody's going to watch them? Do you know what I mean? But I think that's because it's just been so hectic here. I just don't know. I nearly didn't do this today because I was like, does anybody really want to listen to me prattling on? There's one missing. I'm sure I put that one in before. If not, I'm... if that comes out again, then I'm going to get some nail glue and nail varnish and just put a dab in there to hold it. I'm sure I did that last week, that one. I don't know. Yeah, I did my face, my new face pads went launched this week um, with my other different face wipes. I've done some with some cotton on the back of them. I've sold out of all the bamboo and I think nearly all of them anyway, my bamboo and towel in one size of the face mat, um, wipes and I love them because the bamboo has got antibacterial pro properties in it. Um, and I need all the help I can get with my skin but they are lovely and soft absolutely lovely and soft just done a massive order which I've sent off to our Yvonne she's uh, she should have got her other one she's already ordered a small order well not small that was you know, a few items of each product of the new it's reusable range or eco-friendly range, whatever you want to call it. I wanted to make a range of stuff that um, we can reuse and reuse with everything, you know, being so tight. I thought once you've got these, you just rewash and rewash and rewash them. And I'm still happy with my the ones that I made out of the cotton and the thing, but I couldn't sell them because... Yeah, I made a bit of a hash around the edges, but I, my skin is getting so much better. I can see the improvement in it since I've been using them and not using the cotton, cotton wool bud things. So they, they, um, they launched this week and <laughs> you have to laugh. Right. Making these, um, uh, face pads, you get three in a pack. And um, loved making them, really enjoying them. I'm doing my bags in between and then I do some of those. But guys, have you ever been saddle sore? Have you ever been horse riding or on a bike for a long time and they call it saddle soreness on your ass? Well, I got these because I was doing 80 of these small ones. No, I did more than that. I did 90. Yeah, 96, was it? Something like that. In total of these small face wipes. <sighs> yeah. I developed saddle soreness on my butt and on the top of my legs. Ay, 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 ay. The last time I had that was when I rode a massive bloody um, mountain horse. I went mountain riding for a day. And uh, that's the last time. And yeah i've definitely got saddle soreness kids think it's hysterical so how the bloody hell have you got that and i said it's just that rocking back and forth i was making sure i was getting up every half an hour walking around and then i'd do some house jobs and then come back to sewing and that's how i was doing it do you know what i mean so i was always walking around i wasn't stuck there all the time but i still de developed I think it was probably the nights that I were working because then I was working like say from half six till half twelve. I'd be not more or less. I'd only get up for a wee or get a drink or something. So I think, yeah, that just that, you know, going forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. I suppose it's like riding the horse in it. So, yeah. And Grant never offered to rub any cream on it to make it better either. 
<laughs> I have got some of his, um, I was going to say antiseptic, it's not antiseptic, anaesthetic cream. Because I can't use ibuprofen because I'm highly allergic to that, but he has got a cream here that's um, got anaesthetic in it for his hand. For when his hand's really bad. Yeah, and I'm hoping that I'll hear from the surgeon and stuff about my hands. Cause, oh my god, now I know it's definitely carpal tunnel, and I can't remember the other name of the other one. Because carpal tunnel affects them three fingers, two fingers, your thumb, and down that one. And then there's something else that affects that finger, that finger inside, and down there. And I've got both. Um, but yeah, because I'm strapping them, but. It helps, but if they're still going numb, not as many times. But when the numbness, when you take the numbness goes, it's the pain then as well. And I think the arthritis, because I'm getting swelling around the joints, you can sort of see some of it. That you can see a little bit still swollen there today, and I'm getting the swelling. So I think the osteoarthritis. I can never say that word in my hands. It's old age, guys. But you, I do everything with my hands. And like they say, the job I had for 20 years was working on vibrating machines and moving your hands like six to 700 times an hour. And on one machine, you'd move it 400 times, an, 1,400 times an hour, roughly, on vibrating machines. And like you said, that's not the best. But you don't think of these things at the time. You just think of the paycheck at the end of the week. Going to pay the bills, as I say. Going to pay the bills, man. But, yeah. Oh. So, I don't know whether to... I might leave my taxes tonight. I run out to my pink... Um, bamboo towel and so that should be in monday i'm still waiting for the splatter material to come in to do mary ann's bag i've had a custom come in this morning they want a rainbow um, large tool wrap in the rainbow design so i said yeah i can do that this week it's nice when you get custom in you know, but yeah, but I like doing the reusable and I like doing my bags. Um, I started on TikTok on Wednesday doing a patchwork, another patchwork bag, because I haven't got any patchwork bags left now. I sold the last one to Yvonne yesterday or the day before, was it? So I'm doing a nine by nine at the moment, which will work out then about eight by eight, eight by six, I think. Something like that by the time I put the base in. But then I'm wondering, shall I do it and not put a base in it? Just have it as a patchwork flat bag. So I might do that because I've not done that one yet as a flat bag. Because that might be nice. Or should you always have a flat bottom in the bags? Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, so I don't know. But I'm enjoying doing that. I'm doing that on TikTok on a Wednesday. I decided to do it on Wednesday evenings rather than Wednesday day. Only because I didn't get time. So, and I do like going on the TikTok. It's a different kind of live. I love my lives on a Sunday on here because I do this. But I'm on TikTok then I could do my sewing. Which is quite nice. There's only about two of us on there. Well, me and Kelly. Vaughn comes in sometimes. Um, Grace at Freddy Factory, she sometimes comes in. Um, Ginger sometimes comes in if she's about. And then my uh, son's girlfriend comes in. Come In between a five minute break from work, she'll come in and have a chat. Which is nice. But yeah. 
I want to do some more on that patchwork this week which will be fun I like it because you can just pick any bit of material up that you've got you know little pieces and just plonk them on well not literally plonk them on because you've got to sew them on but you know what I mean I just think oh that'll look nice and I don't stop an if and ah because I think if I stop an if and ah I'm going to swap and change swap and change and I want it to be spontaneous I want them to be in the moment and if it doesn't like look right, you can always sew another piece on top. You know, it's no big deal. So that's what I like about doing them. And you know, I like winky wonky things anyway that doesn't conform to the, you know. But that's the way I'm made, love. That's the way I'm made. So yeah, so our kitchen, new kitchen is supposed to come in May. They've started down the bottom. So I'm thinking tomorrow I might have to just literally think, right, come on, you've got to start emptying these kitchen cupboards and things, getting rid of stuff. Because this cup, one cupboard behind me has not been opened properly for years because it's got Jessie slime in there tubs and tubs and tubs of um, where she's made different types of slime and there's nothing wrong with it you know I went in there at Christmas time so what was that what's that four months ago and I checked it to make sure there's no mold or anything in there which there wasn't and then I shut the cupboard again <laughs> and instead of sorting it there and then I thought I'll do it another day I've got other things I want to I want to be doing. So yeah, I say Millie's working twelve till three, and she says it's not fair. I said, "What?" She said, "You're having sausages from the butchers, aren't you?" I said, "Yep." <clears throat> and I said, "I've got the sausage uh, brioche rolls." And she's like, oh, I said, don't worry, I will save you some. I said, don't be that mean that he, he wouldn't save you any. She does like her sausage bat, so. Especially if they're the, the Boshe rolls. I'm not, I, yeah, they're all right, but. I wouldn't wouldn't bother me if we didn't have them. I'm quite happy with a piece of bread. Do you know what I mean? But they all like them. Bit of fried onions. Jessie did burgers today, grilled burgers from the butchers. So we not but we know there's all goodness in them. So she grilled them. She fried some onions. So when I got back from doing the week shop, it was all ready. Because uh, I'd been and got Aldi shop. Then I come back, dropped that off because they wanted the buns. Because I didn't know, because I needed to go to Tesco's. I needed to go and get some hamster food and straw from Bargain Buy. So I said, I won't be back till God knows what time. I said, see you and Dad carry on. And then I said, I'll go and pick Mill up on route. And then I'll have mine when I come back. And it was lovely. Because she'd left them under the grill, they were still nice and warm. Because it was only about half an hour after they'd had theirs, I think, something like that, she said. So Millie was happy because she was starving. Because, like, all she'd been doing is serving food. And she said, you sit? She said I didn't want what I was serving, but she said, it didn't make my stomach hungry. I said, oh, okay. So I suppose I better love and leave you. Go. No, nothing exciting this week. Just the usual, usual. Oh, I was going to show you these though. I treated myself, to, but I've got to show you a lot. This is from Home at Primrose on Etsy. Oh, nice little thank you. But look at this. I saw this. Amber, black amber, which I love, and, I, and lavender I love. So I thought I've got to um, 
get some of these. And it's got all your warnings on the back. Do not consume, not for consumption. Use a four hour unscented tea light with them. Let's smell this, guys. There is, I think it's 10. Now, go on, have a good good inhale. Is it three, six, seven, eight, nine? Is it nine? Must be nine then. No, I'm sure it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, nine. Oh, these are divine. Oh, just smell. Just smell. Oh. So I'm just finishing the bliss in my wax burner and there the next one. She gave me a lovely thank you card. And then she gave me a little sampler, and this is Blue Sky. And it smells like, you know, a bit like comfort. And that's really nice. So I might get that next time. Because you know me, I like my wax melts. Very romantic. Relaxing. It's romantic as well, but it's very relaxing. So, yeah, so I've got to get a container now to put all my wax, wax melts in. So we'll have a last swig of me coffee with you. The only thing is the lid on this is a bit. I'm trying to get a swig sometime. I might ask her if she's got any more different lids because it's hard to get a. Got to tip it up quite a lot before you get a mouthful. But maybe it's because I've got a big gob and I need. <laughs> Need it bigger. Right, my lovely lot. I'm going to love you and leave you and say look after yourselves. Take care. Oh, I've got my arm stuck. So bye for now. <laughs>